Hello once again. Good day. So we are here on our another video, which is finding the angles which is vertically opposite. Let's recall that vertically opposite angles are equal. In this example, angle A and angle C are vertically opposite. So angle A is equal to angle C. Same with angle B and angle D are opposite, vertically opposite angles. So therefore, angle B and angle D are equal. Let's try to solve this given. So look at the figure below. PQ and RS are straight lines. Find the unknown angles, angle A and angle B. First, to find angle A, we know that angle A is an angle on a straight line with angle 38. Okay, so we can say that in a straight line, we have angles R, C, Q, which is 38, and this angle A here. So if we recall that angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So to find angle A, we get to subtract 38 from 180 degrees. So therefore, angle A is equal to 142 degrees. How do we find angle B? Because angle B is vertically opposite to angle R, C, Q, which is 38. Okay, when we say vertical opposite, if we extend the angles here, the side of the angles of angle B, okay, you'll see that they are vertically opposite. Okay, they belong to only this side of the angles. That's why angle B is vertically opposite to angle R, Q, R, C, Q. If angle B is equal to angle R, C, Q, therefore, angle B is also 38 degrees. So we can put here angle B is 38 degrees. What if we still want to find the measurement of angle C? To find angle C, we know that angle S, T, and let's make this angle W, uh, point W. So S, C, W is equal to 68. And that's also W, C, Q is angle C. But if you see closely, that is actually a vertical opposite angle to angle A. Wait, let me erase that so that you can see it clearly. Okay, here. So angle A here, when we extend, the side of the angle is here. And for this side, it's here. So you'll see that this angle A is vertically opposite to this angle down here, which is S, T, W, and W, C, U. Therefore, we can say that angle A, which is equal to 142, is equal to these two angles here. So to get now angles W, C, Q, or angle C, we can just Subtract 68 from 142. And the answer is 74 degrees. Therefore, if we want to find as well angle C, angle C is 74 degrees. So when you add 68 and 74 degrees, you will get 142 degrees which is same as its opposite vertical angle, angle A, which is also 42, 142 degrees. Now, this is your turn to solve. 
So on the chat, on the comment section of this video, please type your answer. And I will also provide the correct answer in the description of this video. Thank you and I hope you learned something. See you on my next video.